Oh my gosh, this background looks so cute. Let me just quickly position, oops, my tripod, tripod, wow. Tripod, right? And there we go. Oh, it looks so cute and like so fitting for today's video, which as you can see from the title, is going to be my newborn must-haves. So first things first, if you're new here, my name is Arshia. I'm a beauty-focused content creator and a new mommy to baby Mia. She is now four months old. I can't believe it. I know I say that like every single month, but I cannot believe that she's four months old. Time really is going by so fast and I'm just like taking it all in and you know, taking lots of pictures and videos. All the products that I am gonna be sharing today, well, majority of the products we're still using till today. And like I said, Mia's four months old. There are a few products though she has outgrown. So this video is really like from like the newborn to like the three month stage, I would say. Um, and I will be sure to note every single, for every single product, if we're still using it or if she's outgrown it, just to kind of simplify shopping for you if you do plan on making the investment and the purchase or not. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Also, really quick, before we get started, I promise, as always, everything will be linked below. Okay, so the first thing that I will say are burp clots. And you are going to need, I will say, the one thing that you're gonna need a lot of is burp clots because we go through them so quickly. Baby spit up a lot. Mia definitely did when she was like really, really little. Um, and you just go through burp clots like so quickly. I don't know why I cannot say burp clots. I'm like struggling to say that. Uh, but there's one that I really recommend and it's from Amazon and I have seen so many people use these and I personally love them as well. They're made from this like really soft material that honestly gets better with each wash. And I bought like a few different types of birth cloths. Wow, burp cloths. <laughs> and these are the ones that I like love over all the other ones. I'm gonna put a picture of course right here. Trust me, they're so soft. They're really big so you can also like put them over your shoulder to you know burp the baby to wipe the baby's mouth and face it's just so good second thing i will say is babies have really really sharp nails i remember mia like scratching my face in the beginning she scratched michelle's face in the beginning her nails are just like so tiny but they are so sharp and i feel like they grow like every other day like seriously every other day and I'm just too nervous, too scared to like actually cut her nails. Even when she's sleeping, I'm just like, I can't do it. So instead, I have this like baby manicure set and it actually files the baby's nails. And I love this thing because it is so easy to use. And I just file her nails when she's sleeping and she like doesn't even wake up from it. It's so like simple and so safe to use and like a lot easier in my opinion than an actual nail clipper. And I would definitely recommend this. This is like a must, put this on your registry and you will use this for a very long time. Okay, the next thing I will say, and this for sure is like, if you take one thing from this video, this is it right here. And that is zip up onesies. Now I do have a few that have like the little buttons, just a few. And honestly, like I cannot be bothered with those. It is like such a process to like button each and every one, especially like at night, especially in the very, very early newborn stages when you're like constantly waking up like every two hours to change their diaper or to feed the baby. Like it is a process to like unbutton every little zip. So I will just say, save yourself the trouble and get the zip up onesies. It will simplify your life so much and now Mia's four months old and she's like very fidgety and she's like moving a lot. Um, and the zip up onesie is just like so easy. I highly, highly recommend those over the button ones. I've also heard really good things about the magnetic ones. I have not tried those just yet, but once I will try them, I will let you know. Right now, I'm all about the zip up onesies. Those are amazing. Okay, next up, baby swaddles. And we just could not, Risha and I, even my mom, we could not get the hang of traditional swaddles, which are like the big square cloths. They showed us, like the nurses showed us how to properly swaddle a baby. And I just still couldn't get the hang of it. I really wanted to, cause I actually bought such cute swaddles and received some as gifts, but I didn't really use them. Instead, I actually used the Velcro swaddles. We don't use them anymore. She has outgrown them. Definitely recommend those. Those are so easy to use. You just like lay the baby down, Velcro them in the swaddle, and it just helps them feel so secure, helps them from like that reflex that they do. Um, and I really, really recommend the ones that I use. Those were great type of swaddle that I wanted to recommend to you guys is the Love to Dream swaddle. Now, if your baby's like mine, 
who likes to sleep with their arms up, this is the swaddle that I would recommend to you. We started using this around two months. Didn't use it for a long time, honestly, maybe like a full month. Um, but we loved this swaddle. Like Mia just loved this swaddle because again, it just helps them feel so secure and she loves to sleep with her arms up. So she was able to do that, but still feel like so secure in her bassinet. So I love this and definitely recommend this, even though we don't use it anymore and you'll use it for a short amount of time. But to me, it's really worth it. Okay. This one, you guys is so random, but like I remember watching so many of these videos before I had Mia and so many people said like this wasn't a must have, but to me it totally is and that is a hooded towel. It's not just like this cute towel, it is so practical because it helps to like, you know, dry your baby's head. Mia has a lot of hair. I definitely recommend at least having one and you can use it right after bath time. For us, this is a must. Next up, and I truly did not understand uh, the hype around this product, of course, until I had my baby, and it is the Docatot. Now, this is a product you definitely wanna make sure you're supervising and watching your baby as they lay in it, but you guys, this, I think it's called like a lounger or a station or something. Basically, it's this amazing lounger, I will call it, for your baby and they can play in it, they can lay in it, they can sleep in it. Of course, again, all supervised. They can do tummy time after a while. And we just love this because again, you can like pick it up and put it wherever you need to. And it just helps, you know, your baby feel so snug and safe. And we just really love it. Again, I do recommend, especially with like high, high price item like a Docatot, to do your own research, read the good reviews and also read the bad reviews, like the negative reviews, and then make your decision from there. For us, we love the Docatot. We're still using it till today. Now more for like tummy time, um, but she can still like lay in it, you know what I mean? But now she's like kind of outgrowing it. But I would just say this is like such a good product for like that first like newborn stage. We just absolutely loved it. Next up is a bassinet. Now, of course, I'm sitting right next to a crib right here. Mia has hardly even used this crib. So in the beginning, like if you are like freaking out about like setting up your nursery, you don't need to because Mia has still not used this nursery um, like on her own. She is in our room in a bassinet. We actually have two bassinets. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, you don't need a crib immediately um, unless, of course, you plan on having your baby sleep in their nursery from like the start. For us, I think I want to like keep her in our room up until like the six, seven month mark. Anyway, point is you need a good bassinet and we have two, fam, two, which is crazy. You don't need two. Uh, we do have the Halo Bass Nest. I think it's called the Bass Nest, not a bassinet. It's literally shaped like a little oval and it's actually a great product i will say it's a great product my brother actually ended up buying this for us from our registry which i'm so grateful for and my mindset with that bassinet was that we were going to keep it in our bedroom and then like move it in and out from the bedroom to the living room because we're kind of in the living room most of the day i work out of the living room we're like lounging and hanging out in the living room so we're like okay we'll like you know move it in and out but you learn really quickly after having a baby that for us anyway, we just don't have the time for that. And also, again, watch reviews or like read the reviews and then really kind of make your decision from there. I remember watching the reviews on the Halo Best Nest and everybody, seriously, everyone said that it is too heavy. It is very heavy to move in and out of the room. But I was like, no, we can do it. And of course, we couldn't. You could do it. Of course you can do it, but it's like such a pain to like literally like lift it up and then move it out. I think it weighs like close to like 40 pounds or maybe even 50 pounds. I don't know, but it is heavy. It is very, very heavy. Um, so we actually just keep the Halo Bass Nest in the living room now. The bassinet that we do have in our bedroom is the Micah Mickey Bassinet. I had never heard of this brand, but it is so popular on Amazon. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and buy it. And I love this. So it is basically a co-sleeper. It is a bassinet for your baby, but it's connected to your bed. So they do have their own safe space to sleep. It's not on your bed. 
um, but it's right next to your bed. So it is perfect if you are breastfeeding, especially in the beginning when baby's feeding so often, you're changing the diaper so often, your baby's literally right next to you. For me, I had so much anxiety in the beginning and I wanted Mia next to me at all times, but I wanted her to have her own space. So this was perfect, like so perfect, and I can't recommend it enough. If I had to just recommend one bassinet, you know, between the Halo and um, the co sleeper one that we have, I definitely recommend the Mica Mickey. It is amazing. Next up, let's talk about bath time. Um, so I have a bathtub, which I will put a picture of right here. I don't know what the brand name is. I've heard like mixed reviews on this, but I personally love it. And this is kind of like our bath time setup. I have this bathtub. And then right on top of it, I put this like blooming flower thing, which is like really soft right on top. And then Mia goes right on top of that. And that's how we give her a bath. And it works really, really well for us. So if you are considering like the different types of bathtubs out there, there are so many. This is our little setup and we love it. Please tell me I'm not the only one, you guys, but I tried like four different baby carriers and they're not all the same. Some are so complicated to use. Your baby will not like some of them. Some are just like too much, like so heavy feeling. The one that is perfection, so easy to use, your baby will love it, at least my baby loves it, um, is the Baby Bjorn one. It is so, like the material of it is so nice. And there was a point, definitely think Mia is still going through this again now, where she wanted to be carried all of the time and I loved using this baby carrier. I just like use it around the house. Now we go on walks and I just use this baby carrier and I love it. This is like my favorite, favorite one and I definitely recommend this one. The next one, and this is a totally random one, is a diaper caddy. And I didn't think that I would use this as much as we do, but we literally use one all the time. So again, especially in the middle of the night, in the beginning, we just did not, like I just didn't have the energy, Rashad didn't have the energy because you're like so sleep deprived um, to get up, pick up the baby and like, you know, bring them to the diaper station or the changing station right here. Now, she's four months old, of course, we're using the changing table, but in the beginning, we did not. We just used the diaper caddy and a changing pad, and we changed her wherever, and the diaper caddy was a must for us. Next up is an activity mat, and this is great, especially in the beginning for tummy time. We're still doing tummy time with Mia. Um, she loves tummy time so much. Now she like really engages with her toys and everything. But right from the beginning, this is the activity mat that we used and loved, loved so much. I also love like the colors of it. It just is so soft, you can wash it. And we absolutely, absolutely love this one. And I do recommend buying an activity mat right from the beginning and doing tummy time or just like laying baby on there. It's just so great, this specific one, because it's padded really nicely. It's not like very thin. It's also not very thick. It's very soft and me absolutely loves it. This is a baby must have, not just a newborn must have. And that is a really soft, cozy baby blanket. Now I have one that I'm gonna insert a picture of right here from Pottery Barn. I really, really recommend this specific one. You can also like get their name on the blanket. It's so cute. I actually received it as a gift and I'm obsessed with it. I actually wanna gift this to other people. Um, and I received actually quite a few different baby blankets, but this specific one is my favorite because it is so warm and cozy and Mia just like loves it. It's like her blanket. Like babies have their blanket. This is like her blanket. And it's just is so, like, it, this is a must have for any baby. Next favorite is a must have, you guys. Didn't understand this product, of course, until I had a baby and I use this all the time. It is the Nose Frida and it sounds disgusting, but it's not. Uh, it is basically a little tool that you put into your baby's nose with the saline drops and you just like suck out all of their boogers. I know how disgusting that sounds, you guys, but it's not. And of course, nothing about your baby disgusts you in general, but this is like not disgusting at all. You're not gonna like swallow the boogers. There is a little like filter, but this is a must have product. It really helps like clear their nose, helps them breathe better, and again, so good to add to your registry. Also recommend having a baby swing. I love this one from, I think it's from Graco. I think that's the brand name. 
Um, I like did a lot of research on different swings and kept just hearing really good things about this specific one. You guys can read the reviews on your own. We love it. Mia still uses it every single day and it just is like the best one. It will take up a good amount of room, but it really is worth it and you don't need like so many different swings you know what i mean you just need one and in my opinion this is so good now let's talk a little bit about car seats strollers all of that so the car seat we have is right here and we actually had another car seat i think it was from a brand called nuna um that was compatible with our stroller but it was not gonna work for our car like we bought it and we ended up returning it because it just like would not sit right in our car so we ended up getting this one and it works perfectly in our car. Now for the stroller, we do have the Upper Baby Vista 2 and it does come with the bassinet. You can also use that as like a bassinet around the house, um, which we did. We didn't really barely even took Mia out because it was so cold, like January, February, even March. We didn't really like go out all that much. Um, so we use that stroller in general just in the house like just to kind of like soothe her around our apartment um, So I will just say like make sure if you're gonna get the one with the bassinet That you're actually gonna use the bassinet because she does not like the bassinet anymore at four months She wants to like look outside and look up. So we use like the actual seat of the stroller but regardless, I love this stroller. It is so high quality. The wheels are like amazing and like goes over bumps and everything so nicely. There's a big storage thing on the bottom. You can actually use that for two babies, which is amazing. And it just deserves all of the hype. This is a very big investment for sure, the stroller here. But in my opinion, it is so worth it. We absolutely love it. Mia loves it. I don't know what it is with the stroller. Whenever we go on walks with her, she just like falls asleep in it. It is like so comfortable for her, I feel like. I think, I'm just looking here. I think, oh my gosh, I forgot one thing. One thing that is a must is a sound machine. I'll put a picture right here of the one that we have. It's a really small, compact one. I have like the bigger version of it actually uh, in the back right here as well. There's like this one sound that Mia loves to fall asleep to. And I honestly didn't think that I would need a sound machine. But now that we have it, we use it every single day and she loves it. All right, guys, that is it for today's baby must-haves. I hope that you guys found this video useful. As always, everything that I mentioned in today's video will be linked below, so definitely check there. If you guys have any specific questions about any product that I shared in today's video, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer every one of you. And thank you guys so much for watching. On your way out, please subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.